get asked all the time, Nick, what's the difference between your capsules and your liquids? You guys, today I wanna do a quick little video explaining to you the differences between capsule SARMs and liquid SARMs. So get a pencil and paper out, heat up a meal, sit down, and let's get started. All right, you guys, so the compound that I'm holding in my hand is what we call execution, but what execution is is just RAD 140. I came up with fancy names for a lot of our products because I wanted to be a little bit different than most people. I didn't want to just call it RAD 140 and be boring. Now, for us specifically, we carry capsules and liquids of all of our single individual compounds. And we do this so that you get the choice between capsules or liquids for your own personal use. First question that comes to me all the time is, Nick, what's the difference as far as like potency or you know effectiveness between capsules and liquids? So let's address that first. There is no difference in potency. Whether you're using liquids or you're using capsules, each one is going to work good, all right? It doesn't really matter. It's just complete personal preference over which one that you guys want to personally use. Well, there is a big talk that liquids would tend to be a little less liver toxic than capsules. I do tend to agree, however, we just don't have all the science there yet to confirm it for sure. If you guys are gonna be consuming these products, just know that there's always gonna be a chance for liver toxicity, even if you're using the liquid compounds. I do get the idea though, although it's kind of bro scientist, that the liquids going underneath the tongue would prevent the liver from needing to break down the capsule. So I do tend to agree with it. I do think that the liquid may be a little forgiving on the liver compared to capsules, but you know, it's just not 100%. I just wanna mention it for you guys so that you do know that. The reason why the liquids were created was because it's gonna give you guys a little bit better or easier of a way to get your specific milligram dosage that you want to do. Just as an example, the capsules are 15 milligrams per capsule when it comes to our RAD140 or execution. The liquid is 30 milligrams per milliliter. So basically, one capsule a day of execution would get you 60 days. A half a milliliter of the liquid would also be 15 milligrams and also give you 60 days out of a 30 ml bottle. Let's say you don't wanna do 15 milligrams and you don't wanna do 30 milligrams. I completely understand. You guys should have the ability to decide for yourself what milligrams you guys want to do. If you want something like, let's say, 10 milligrams of RAD 140, then I would highly suggest avoiding capsules, at least ours, because they're dosed at 15. If you're using a different company that's dosed at 10, then you're right in the ballpark. But we tend to make ours a little stronger than most. If you're trying to shoot for 10, you're not gonna be able to use capsules. You're stuck with 15 milligrams per capsule. You're not gonna be able to get lower than that. But if you guys do wanna use 10 milligrams, then I would highly suggest you check out the liquid because the liquid is gonna be able to offer you the ability to do that. If each milliliter of liquid is 30 milligrams, then one third or 0.3 milliliters is going to give you your 10 milligram mark. So that way you're getting now 90 days, if my math is correct, out of a single bottle of our execution or RAD 140, whatever it is that you guys wanna call it. But that is going to be the primary benefit of using liquids. The liquids, no matter what SARM it is, no matter what peptide it is, typically, depending on dosage, is gonna offer you the ability to get a little bit more of an accurate measurement on the milligrams that you guys wanna personally use. Whether it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 milligrams daily, the liquid you're gonna be able to accurately measure versus the capsules, which are only gonna give you either 15 or 30 milligrams, okay? Depending on how many capsules you take. Obviously, the milligram dosage is gonna vary from SARM to SARM, depending on what compound you're specifically looking at, but that's the biggest takeaway that I want you guys to understand. As far as like the potency or effectiveness, there's no difference. It's, it's complete personal preference, but it's really just gonna depend on how many milligrams that you guys wanna take. And if you look at my capsules and you decide that that milligram per capsule is gonna be a little stronger than what you wanna start on, then you can switch the liquids and you can adjust the, the milliliters of the liquid to give you guys that accurate measurement of the compound that you're trying to use. So that's for RAD140. Let's go grab a different pairing of compounds and I'll kind of show you guys that one as well. So now I just went and I grabbed our bottle of Quest, which is what we call it again trying to be fancy but it's just s4 all right anadrine i think is the the proper name for it or s4 um, now our capsules of s4 are 25 milligrams per capsule but just like you guys may have thought 
the liquid is 50 milligrams per milliliter. All right, so the liquid's strong as shit. Now let's say you only wanna do 10 milligrams of the S4. Well, then you would, again, have to use the liquids, you guys. You wouldn't be able to get 10 milligrams out of a capsule because the capsules are 25. First of all, I think 10 milligrams of S4 is way too small to really get any good results with. But, you know, as an example, I'm just letting you guys know, a fifth of a milliliter, basically, would give you your uh, 10 milligram dosage uh, per milliliter when it comes to using S4. Again, no difference in potency. They are exactly the same. Two capsules or one milliliter of liquid is still going to be 50 milligrams and it's still going to give you the same results no matter, sorry, no matter what product that it comes from, whether it's liquid or the capsules. But the liquids will definitely offer you guys the ability to properly adjust that dosage depending on what you guys wanna do. So 10 milligrams of S4 is gonna basically be a fifth of a milliliter. 10 milligrams of Rad 140 is gonna be a third of a milliliter, okay? So that way you guys know if you even wanted to maybe stack these two, but we kinda of make that easy for you because we already have stacks. Only compounds that we have that are not available in liquids are gonna be things like stacks, okay? So our Quadra Rip, our Serious Mass, and things like that, our Physical Perfection, those do not come in liquid forms, they only come in capsule form. So if you're gonna use those, my suggestion is always start low, okay? Start at one capsule at the very minimal if you guys are gonna do this. Remember, always that using compounds like this are going to be 100% a personal decision. So you have to do the research. You have to understand what you're doing and understand how to use these things so that you can use them yourself and be as safe as humanly possible. I really hope this video helped you guys out and kind of explain the difference between them so that that way you guys have a little bit easier time trying to decide which one is gonna be right for you and all of that fun stuff. And by the way, if you guys like the shirt I'm wearing, send some support, grab one of your own. These are the chicken and rice will save your life shirts, you guys. I made them myself. It's got my little logo on there. It's got a beefy chicken, and you know how we love beefy chicken, right? You guys can grab these at performancelabsups.com. Make sure you guys go and grab one if you guys want. They may also be on performancelabs.com where the SARMs are. I'm not 100% sure, but go ahead and check them out. The link to these are also going to be in my description below. If you guys uh, could do me a favor, like this video, subscribe, and uh, check the links out in my description, I'd be forever grateful. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon on the next video.